Hey everyone, welcoming back to my channel. In the last video, I told you about the construction working of LVDT. In the today's session, I am going to tell you about LVDT advantage, disadvantage application and specification. So friend, if you want to know advantage, disadvantage and specification and application of LVDT, then definitely watch my video till the end. So let's begin the video. The first advantage in our list, LVDT has a very wide range of measurement of the displacement. It can measure displacement ranging from 1.25 mm to 250 mm. Then the second advantage is high sensitivity. LVDT gives high output values so that there is no need for any amplifier circuit for the amplification process. Typically, the sensitivity of LVDT is recorded as 40 volt millimeter. The third advantage is low high status losses. LVDT gives low high status losses, hence re repeatability is excellent under all the condition. Fourth advantage is low friction losses. As the core moves in a hollow former, so there is no concept of friction losses, hence it gives accurate output value. Huge operation. It can tolerate a high degree of shock and variation, especially when the core is located with spring. Then six advantage is low power consumption. LVDT consumes very low power, approximately one volt during the operation. Then seventh advantage is direct conversion to electrical signal. They convert linear dip displacement directly to the corresponding electrical voltage signal, which are easy to process further. Then the last advantage is fast dynamic response. Due to the absence of friction, its dynamic response becomes very fast to change the core position. Then we will move on disadvantage of LVDT. The first disadvantage is since LVDT is inductive transducer, so it is sensitive to stray magnetic field. Hence, it is extra setup is required to protect its stray magnetic field. Then the second disadvantage is since it is in it is an electromagnetic device, so it also get affected by the vibration and temperature variation. Now we will talk about some application of LVDT. The first application of LVDT is LVDT is used to measure the physical quantities such as force, tension, pressure, weight, etc. These quantities are first converted into displacement by the use of primary transducer and then it is converted into the displacement through the corresponding electrical voltage signal. Then the second application is it is mostly widely it is mostly used in industries such as uh, servo mechanism third application it is also used in industrial automation aircraft turbo mine satellite hydraulics etc in the last we will talk about the lvdt specification range of measurement plus minus 0.25 millimeter to plus minus 750 millimeter it is a range of measurement and the operating temperature is 260 minus 260 to 6, 600 degree celsius then the last specification is frequency range up to 500 hertz to 20 kilohertz so friend in this video, this video we have learned about lvdt advantage disadvantage specification and application so friend i hope you would like my video if you like my video then definitely like share and subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my upcoming video first so see you in my next video till then goodbye take care